In this video, we will discuss about the Elasticsearch Bulk API using which we can perform multiple operations in a single request. So one more time, I'd like to take you back to the Elasticsearch documentation because as always, we refer to the documentation when we start learning anything. Here it says that with the Bulk API, we can perform multiple indexing or delete operations in a single API call and for that matter, you can also perform update operations in the same API call. What is the advantage that we get here is that this reduces the overhead and can greatly increase the indexing speed, which is kind of obvious because you don't have to send like uh, a, a separate uh, REST request for each of, of the indexing request, the delete request, the create update request. So uh, your entire process of indexing and you know making changes to the Elasticsearch data becomes highly optimized. Let us look at the format that we need to follow. We need to make a post call and the path that we need to hit is underscore bulk. And in the next line, we can see that there is so much of payload to be sent along with this request. In this payload, we observe that this is not just a single JSON, but each line contains a different JSON object. So in the first line, we can see that we are making an index request. In this line, we are making a delete request. In this one, a create. In this one, an update. Let's look at it in more detail. So for this index, index request, the index that we are targeting is the test index and the ID that is the document we are targeting is document one. So this will create a new document in Elasticsearch index of test and this will be the content of the document. Similarly, this next call deletes the document with ID2 from the index called test. Again, we have this create request which creates a document with ID3 in the test index and then lastly we have an update which updates the document with ID1 in the test index and these are the fields and values that it updates. You can read about all of this further, it's given down here like what index does, what create does what update does, what delete does, and what are the optional parameters, metadata, and so on. The, the difference between create and index is that create will fail when the same document ID is already present, and index adds or replaces a document if necessary. So having quickly gone through the documentation of the bulk API, I would like to take all of you back to the console where we see some residual requests from last time. So let me quickly just say get user and see if that index exists. Okay, so index is not found. So what I'll do here is I'll go to a new line and I would quickly start writing my bulk call. So I say post underscore bulk. So this we saw in the documentation that the first line needs to be post underscore bulk. In the line following this, I will give a create request create and our index name here will be called user and our document id in this case will be 1. As for the document that we will be inserting, let me just quickly get this document and paste it right here and it won't work like this because this bulk call expects a, a new JSON object on each line. So if I have it all spread out, it is not going to work and it will give me an error. So I have this object right here. Let me get one more object over here and let's call this guy Matt. Let's change this person's DOB and let's make him say a product manager. And let us send this request to Elasticsearch and see what happens. Okay, so we get an error, malformed action, metadata, line three, line one, two, three. So uh, notice here that we said create and then we gave it an object, but we did not say that what it should do with this object. So our payload became malfunction. So I'll type this here and for this document, I'll say that the ID is two. Now let me send this request 
and yeah we can see that there are no errors and it was able to create these two items now if i say get user it will show me that my index is existing but now let me try to see the contents all the contents within my index that is all the documents within my index so for doing that i will have to send a get request to the user index at the path search and as payload i will have to send a query where i ask elastic search to simply do a match all yeah and i send this request to elastic search and i can see that i have a total of two hits and my this is my hits array which contains all of my results and here i can see that i have this first document that i indexed and i also have this second document that i indexed so this is the way in which the bulk api helped us create many documents in a single api call what i'd like to do here next is that i'll just simply get rid of this entire index and i'll augment this example just give me a minute for that and I'm back right here with my augmented example in which we are doing the create operation four times and one time we are doing the index operation. So let me send this request and uh, I see that there are no errors and it has created a few documents. And when I search for all of them through the index, I get five hits and I can see Jake is here, Mike, Lucy, Matt and rock now suppose for some reason i do not want the last three records in my index so what do i have to do i have to send this delete request so i have already uh, made a sample out here so we are telling the bulk api that delete from the user index document with id 3 4 and 5. let's hit our server and we can see the result as deleted and when i say match all I will get only two hits, which are Jake and Mike. Suppose what happens when uh, Mike gets promoted to the position of senior product manager. I'll just again simply ask Elasticsearch to update the job description for Mike, that is for document ID2. I say that update in the index user and document ID2 and the document, the partial document that we want to update is that the job description should be updated to senior product manager. Here we can see that Mike is product manager and after we send this call to our server, it says updated. And when I match all, I can see that Mike is now senior product manager. And that is essentially it guys. That is how the bulk API works in Elasticsearch. If you found the content of this video helpful, please do click the like button. And if you like the content of my channel, please hit subscribe. You can also hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates. And like always, thank you all for watching.